Oh, hello, 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 and welcome to Omer's Garage. Today, we are gonna be putting stripes on my Porsche 911. All right, so if you've been following my channel, I, you know, de vinyled and I took the vinyl off except for the rear trunk and the hood. Um, I removed the vinyl off the entire car and, um, you know, other than that, and obviously the calipers you can see there with the reflective uh, caliper um, vinyl. And I have a video up on that also. But what I decided to do, uh, I wasn't sure if I was going to leave, you know, the hood that way. Uh, and uh, I kind of like it, you know, I kind of like the orange accents, you know, it also, I like it with the calipers, it's not too crazy. But the thing is, I decided to see if I could play around with doing some vinyl stripes. So I've been right now just taking measurements. If you see that vinyl out there, that's a lot of the practice, some scraps that I have left over that I've been using to kind of play around with and to try to see how I'm going to lay down these stripes. Um, so I went online and I found a couple different, you know, variations of the different stripes. You know, there's a, nine, there's a 911R, there's a GT3 stripes. So there's a bunch of different variations, but um, the ones that I'm going with are two stripes going up the center and they kind of cut around the emblem, which is a little bit more work for me, but I like the way that it looks. And uh, I'm gonna try it out. Um, I bought the Vivid uh, 3M vinyl and, um, we're, and it's a satin finish, just like the oranges. And we're gonna work on that today. All right, so I'm working on this little, you know, outline here, and I want to do a cutout of the actual material. So what I ended up doing is um, I put a mark on here, uh, on this piece of paper, scrap piece of paper, and um, I just put the the length that I want. So all around, I just end up putting, you know, a little wax pen, and I'm putting, you know, these little marks all the way around. That way I have an even and I can use this all the way around. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put a uh, knifeless tape. And I'm just gonna use that outline to lay down my knifeless tape. All right, so a lot of this is just, you know, I've spent probably an hour here doing measurements. Um, you know, I did, I did the uh, little outline that's gonna be for my knifeless tape. Um, the edge is gonna come down here and kind of go up. And then here, I'm gonna put a little curve that goes all the way to the top of the car. Um, and I'm gonna do a four inch uh, stripe on either side. Uh, so that's gonna be the basic layout. Uh, uh, so what I did, what I started with is I, I found the center point um, and I marked that, that's my center point line. Then what I did is I decided I wanted, I wanted a one inch um, gap between the two stripes. Uh, so I measured up half an inch to the left and half an inch to the right. Um, and I did the same thing um, at the top. Um, I measured, you know, since this, since this has a big curve, I came down and I measured, I think like seven inches here, then put my tape measure to go across and I found my center point, um, which is uh, right there. And I measured there, same thing, half an inch to either side. All right, so I have the uh, 3M. Now this is all just practice paper that I'm using, some leftover scraps. So I'm using this 3M knifeless tape. And we're gonna leave the first strip, we're gonna leave a good amount off. All right, so from here, we're just gonna trace that, press it down. Now with the curve, we're gonna have to be a little bit care a little careful. All right, so one of the first things I'm gonna have to do, I forgot to mention, I'm gonna have to wipe down the hood with the rubbing alcohol because I have a coat of wax on there right now. So I'm gonna go and uh, wherever I'm gonna lay vinyl, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna just wipe it down with some uh, rubbing alcohol. I'm also gonna mark uh, the four inch mark here so I know where that's gonna end up going. All right, I made a slight change here. I decided I wanted a little wider up at the top and narrower at the bottom. So I ended up going from, uh, that's the dot that I'm using. This is the one inch gap. 
So I did one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm doing six inches. So it's somewhere around six inches. And that's gonna be the width on the on the top side. All right, so I've uh, set this down here, um, lined it up here. I gotta line it up over there, but I'm gonna have to end up uh, making sure. All right, so for the knifeless tape, you're gonna fold it over with a glue side and then snap. I'm gonna glue this down. And then just carefully make sure this is really well. Just snap it. And then we're gonna remove the side of it. And then we can go over that with the uh, Heat gun. All right, for this, we're gonna cut on the opposite end. This is where we cut it, so it's kind of rough. So we're gonna use the other end that's straight. We're gonna cut seven inches. All right, so now we're gonna use the knifeless tape to cut out the excess vinyl. Last one here, tricky one. So you want to press down on this, make sure it's really adhered, and just kind of when you get to the edge, just pop it. Should come right up. When you get to these little wrinkles, you have to be really careful. And just I use mostly a popping, you know, movement.
All right, so what do you think? That's gonna be the finished product. Goes around the emblem, so all the way up, one inch gap in between. And this is a satin finish. So it's just like the orange, it's not too shiny, it's not totally matte. Uh, Vivid Film, uh, series 20, 2080. So that's what I've been using for this. Pretty easy to put down. Um, the air bubbles come out pretty, pretty nice. And I'm pretty happy with it so far. And honestly, I'm kind of liking the satin. I may end up wrapping the entire car or the other panels in that satin, actually. All right, so that's gonna do it for today's uh, video. Now, I just, you know, this is something that, it's a, it's, a, it's a work in progress. I originally didn't, you know, I wasn't planning on leaving the hood orange, but when I was unwrapping the car, uh, I decided that, you know, I would try it out and I, and I liked it. I like the fact that it stands out. This is my car. It's my own, um, you know, and it's something that uh, is unique to me. So now with the stripes, um, I think it really sets it off. Um, I think it's something that um, the orange hood was fine. And I'm honestly, I've never had stripes on a car before. Uh, but I've seen some of the like GT3s, GT, GT2s, um, the 911Rs, they all have specific stripes uh, for those cars. So the process of this, uh, of doing the stripes is not that difficult. It's really the measuring since I, mine is kind of intricate because I wanted to go around the uh, Porsche badge. Um, so that took a lot of extra work. Um, I didn't want to go all the way down to the bottom because uh, from the stripes that I've seen online, uh, I'm not sure which Porsche has those stripes from the factory, but the lines don't go all the way down. So I didn't want to do that also. Um, so I did that where I put like a half an inch or something at the bottom where it doesn't reach the bottom. I went around. Um, so one of the big tips is use the straight edge and the roll that I got was bigger than I needed. So I cut on both sides. So that way I have a straight edge that's cut from the factory on both sides. So I don't have to do the knifeless tape on both sides, but you can do it. I mean, it's just a little bit of extra work. Um, the knifeless tape is easy. You know, you just gotta learn the technique to get the wire out. You know, you pinch it and then you, you, you tug on it quickly and it pulls the uh, wire out and you gotta make sure that the wire has cut the knifeless tape in half. Um, otherwise it doesn't, it doesn't work correctly. So that's gonna be it. Um, you know, the bumper's done. I am very, very happy with it. Uh, it turned out uh, even better than I thought it was going to. Um, like I said, this is all temporary stuff. These are pretty much stickers. If you like it, you can try it. So it cost me $40 for the roll and I actually have a whole lot. I can do two more stripes. Um, so it cost me about $40 for the roll. Uh, and honestly, uh, I can't remember what I ordered. I think six feet by five feet or something. Um, but it lasted me. I, honestly, I could do two more stripes. Um, so I have this left over in case I wanna do another uh, project. Um, and this is just a satin black finish. Uh, like I said, it's a Vivid 3M 2080 and uh, really good product. Um, the other product that I used was the, uh, that was the Avery Denison. And that's a great product too. Um, this honestly it seemed a little bit easier. Um, so I'm here, I'm really happy with it. Um, and never, you never worked with the 3M product. Um, so I definitely recommend the 3M product. I'll put a link in the description to everything that I used, um, all the tools. Like I have a box here that has all of my, uh, you know, vinyl wrap tools. I got knifeless tape. I got, uh, you know, thermometer to take temperatures when I'm heating up. I got magnets. So I keep everything in that box. Um, and my heat gun's over there cooling down. So that's another thing that you're gonna want. Um, the heat gun definitely helps it adhere better. Um, I've had the orange on the car for three years now and it's not peeling anywhere. Um, so I did a decent job. And obviously when I unwrapped it, uh, the paint was still in great shape, just like I, you know, I, I did when I put it in there. But anyways, let me know what you think of the stripes. You know, if you want to comment, leave a comment down below. Let me know if you like them. Let me know if you don't like them. You don't like the orange hood. You know, it's an acquired taste. I didn't really care for it in the beginning, but I'm kind of liking it. Now with these black stripes, I'm liking it even more. Um, so I'm really happy with it. And honestly, I think I'm going to do stripes regardless of what kind of vinyl wrap that I do. I kind of, 
I'm really digging those stripes. So we'll see how they, um, you know, if they, you know, if I uh, decide I don't want them anymore. And I just want to say thank you to all those that have subscribed to my channel, that follow my channel, comment. Um, I appreciate you guys. Um, I'm getting close to 2,000 subscribers. I'm pretty happy about that. Um, I started the channel just to help people out. You know, most of my videos are do-it-yourself videos and just like that. Uh, and, uh, you know, so, you know, I try to help out the car community. You know, I've, there's so many videos out there that have helped me out in the past. And that's really what my channel is about. It's about saving you money. Um, it's a hobby for me. I enjoy doing this. I love, you know, working on my cars, tinkering with my cars. So it's something that's just fun. Um, it's therapeutic for me. But I enjoy sharing, uh, you know, these kind of things with you guys. And I just want to thank you all. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, share. Hit the notification bell. Do it all. And so I want to thank you all. Y'all take care and stay safe out there. <music>